Hey guys, it's Lydia here from Creator Studios, and today we're going to be checking out E3D's V6 All Metal Hot End. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I just got this in the mail today, and I ordered it off of Amazon. It was about $20, including shipping. Um, it was pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure it is a clone, but it looks exactly like the E3D Hot End. Um... And again, this is the V6, and this is also all metal. So what came in the bag was um, the hot end itself and the little fan. And then it came with a Bowden tube. And this one came with uh, five extra little um, heat brakes. And these ones aren't all metal because they have the Bowden tube inside them. But uh, the one in there does not have a Bowden tube, and it is all metal. And then um, it also came with one, two, three, four, five extra nozzles, and these are all different nozzles. I'm not really sure what the highest one is. Let's see. I think the highest is um, 0 0.5, but um, it does also come with one inside the heat break, inside the nozzle. And then it comes with another little thing up here. I'm pretty sure this is for um, three millimeter filament, but it originally comes with a 1.75 millimeter Bowden filament holder. And then it comes with a little uh, wrench thing to tighten and assemble this hot end. So we can look at it up close. So checking it out up close, it comes with the little fan here and it just clips on. As you can see, you can just take it off like this and uh, this usually comes with all of them if not I'm pretty sure you can print one of these but you just click it on there and then um, as you can see over here it's kinda blurry but um, I do already have my original TiVo tarantula one on there and so with the fan here I'll just cut these wires off and solder them to the original ones and then um, when you, uh, you can unscrew this and this will separate the heat sink from the entire thing. As I was talking about, it came with five extra ones of these, and this just unscrews also. It is in there very tight, and again, that is an all metal hot end part. So it's really easy just to assemble this. It just comes in and screws all the way down. And before you set it up on your printer, you wanna make sure it is uh, really tight. And then also what you need is a new bracket. So like I said, I am using the TiVo Tarantula. So I did have to print a new bracket here. So what just happens with this bracket is just this goes in here and then you tighten the screws and um, then this just becomes the base plate with only three screws this time. On the outside, this is where the belts go and then this is where the end stops go. And then I'm not really sure what this part is, but I will do a full assembly on this. You guys will see later in this video. And so where you put the Bowden tube is just in here. Um, I will put that in uh, later. But again, um, this is the entire assembly. And with my TiVo, this is not the connection for um, one of the parts for the heating up part. So I will have to cut this off and solder to what I already have um, so it will clip into the printer correctly. Alright guys, so that is it. So let's just start out the assembly of this and um, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
right guys, so I finally finished putting together this new E3D V6 metal hot end and um, it was pretty easy assembly and took out all the old wiring and everything and altogether it was a really easy project. So first of all here is the new hot end and all the wiring is all covered up which I think looks really good. I will have to print a new fan duct um, for the PLA printing obviously and again this only uses three wheels and I did have to make a little adjustment here because the wires would not fit through there so I just used my Dremel and cut that out. Putting these uh, belts on were pretty easy. I, again I have these tighteners on here so that made it um, a lot more tighter. And then here is the wiring covering and then the PTFE tube goes to here. And then down here it looks a lot nicer than it did before in my opinion. Um, the new wires were really easy. Again, like I said, I had to rewire over here um, so that it could click into here. This is part of the heat part for the hot end. So I just rewired them right here. And I did do some rewiring from the fan, from the old one, because it was a plug-in fan. So I just uh, cut off somewhere in here um, and used the old wiring, and that should work well. So um, let's power on the printer and check out how it works. All right, guys, so the nozzle and everything is cleaned out. There was a little bit of clog when I tried to feed the filament through by hand, so I fixed that. And so now let's test out a print and see how well it prints. Alright guys, so the print is finished and I decided to print the new Matter Hackers 3D Fill. Um, it's not a big difference from the original uh, hot end that I had on here, except for the top actually finished, as you can see here, compared to this one, because with my other hot end, um, it clogged on the top, so that's just the difference. All the lines are the same, uh, you can see all the details just as equal, so... Um, that is good. When I first started to try print this, it kept clogging and um, I didn't know what was going on. I posted on the TiVo Tarantula uh, group on Facebook and I asked what was going on and I told them it was an all metal hot end. So the, what's originally in it is the all metal heat break part, as you can see here. And uh, this has no Teflon tube in it or PTFE tube, but then it came with five extra as I told you earlier that look like this with the PTFE tube in it. And uh, they told me that you don't want to use the all metal hot end uh, heat break with the PLA because when it goes inside the heat break, it softens. So that was my problem. It kept heating up too much in here. So I had to switch it out for this one. So the only time you use an all metal hot end um, heat break like this is when you want to use ABS or a hotter temperature. So you just switch it out super easy um, it took me about two minutes to do and that made it a lot easier um, I do like how with the uh, base plate that I put on there and I will put a link to that in the description I like how it only has three wheels on it it makes it a lot easier um, so if you guys like that again I'll put it down in the description and I had a lot of fun putting this together I really hope you guys like the time lapse of the 3d fill and of me disassembling and putting together this new hot end um, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, don't forget to share this video. We finally hit 100 subscribers. That might not be a lot, but it is to me, and I'm really excited that I finally hit that goal. Share this video so we can get more views and more subscribers and grow this channel a lot more. So don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.